Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you some more Beam NG. Today we're going to do some challenges, or a challenge, I'm not sure, we'll see how far we get. Uh, I downloaded some new items to the game, I found a Utah Hill Climb. This is using the new map that came out in the update, uh, like, I don't even think a week ago. Uh, I've only had the game for about three days now, so I, I think the update might have came out before I had it, I'm not 100% sure. It uses this car, the Bishu. It's uh, the car, I believe, that came with the update. It's a interesting old car. It's a, it's kind of a handful to drive. It's it's really weird. And the hill climb uses the race version of this car, and it's in, it's very interesting. Like I said, it it says it oversteers and it does a description, which it does do that, but it also understeers a whole lot getting down in the corners. It'll push out to the corners, and then all of a sudden the back end will step out. I think that's what it's. I think that what the description was trying to tell me, um, I was expecting it just to be completely loose and I just nailed the wall there. That's really great. This is going to be very interesting trying to talk and try to focus. This is a challenge that really I think it's going to push you to actually really need to focus on the road. So we're going to test myself here to see if I can actually talk over this. This is going to be uh, very interesting. But yeah, this first corner is really tricky. It starts out really wide and it does that. It it cuts left really hard at the last moment. Uh, it's obviously catching me off guard here. And then it doesn't help that, like, there's no runoff. There's a guardrail. So you need to try to... I'm going to try to hug the inside here. Uh, I'm not using that... I'm using manual transmission, but I'm trying to avoid the handbrake. The handbrake feels really weird on this car. Like, when you hit it, the back end comes around. You can counter steer, and sometimes it works, but sometimes it almost feels like you just lose time doing it. And I caught it. Okay, we're good. You know, we're going to ignore that. We made it past that first part. We're good. So anyways, the next section, I, I've driven this track just slowly once to kind of look at it. And the next section's a a bridge, which I'm not going to get to. Actually, no, I made it to the bridge. Boom. We made it. I'm good. Oh, this is going to be a very long challenge. I'm going to try the best to edit this. Um, like I said, if you're seeing this video now, obviously I did make it to the end of the challenge. I didn't rage and break my computer. So... That's good. Let's uh, let's get down here and try to see. That's what happens when you try to throw it around. And this car just it acts really weird. It's probably because I haven't drove I haven't driven it that much, but um, I'm getting used to it. We're gonna try this uh, a little bit different here. We're gonna try to hug the inside a bit more, but I have a feeling we're gonna swing out and it's good. I have a feeling it's just gonna push out. See, here we go, and it pushes, and the back end catches. In the water. Man. You know, I wasn't going to do a crash video today, but that's starting to... I mean, this is what this is starting to look like. Maybe we should just make crashes. I don't know. I, I really thought that it would be cool to do a challenge, and especially a cha challenge like this. I like driving games. I love Dirt Rally and stuff like that, and this kind of reminds me of it. Uh, to be honest with you, the driving model in, in here is really... How did that deflate a tire? I barely clipped it. Okay. But yeah, the, the driving model in this game is actually... And we're going to die here is really respectable. It feels really good, and I, I did not expect that. Uh, I was just, you know, when I first started, uh, got into the game, I was like, alright, there's a lot of crashes, and, and I started noticing that the driving model actually feels it feels real. It, I don't know if you would call it sim real, but the physics and everything is, it's pretty, pretty, pretty damn close. So I'm, I'm really happy with this. Uh, if I can get my G27 to work, you know, we hit it again, but I'm going to keep going here. If I can get my G27 to work, that would be really good. Uh, let's see, I need to focus. This next section's a little, it's really interesting. I'm going to throw it down in a second here. And you got to just, I want to carry speed here. I, I watched a couple speed runs of this course. Oh, no, I don't even know if I call them speed runs. And they made it, but some of them aren't very fast. Like, they, I mean, I could be wrong. I might not make this at all. And I might, I might even, I should probably shut my mouth because I don't know if I'm going to be able to go as fast. But it seemed like they weren't, I mean, it seems like you could go faster, but... Of course, that's, you know, watching it before you actually go and try it. We're doing pretty good here. This this next section, I think I can get through fairly easy. Let's swing around here to the right. And there we go. Okay, we've got a left-hander here. Uh, the next section around the tree is a little deceiving. Uh, it's kind of a blind spot here, but this swings here to the right. Here we go. And I'm going to... Oh, man, this is going to be a long day. Uh, we'll see what comes of this. I don't know. All right, here comes the bridge section. We're gonna come up here. We're gonna swing. All right, downshift a second. Come here to the inside. That was a good section. And oh, oh no 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 no! 
Oh no. Ugh. All right, bridge. I'm going to. I'm going to dominate you this time. This is going to be good. And all right. No, 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 no. Mm. Okay, that's death. see okay you know I need to set a counter here to see how many times I'm going to do this this might be funny if I just keep track because this is gonna no maybe I should just stop talking oh we land you know what no this isn't this isn't gonna be a good time at all we might as well just drive it off the cliff to be honest with you let's just let's just take a trip and see how uh, how tall this cliff is and man I can't even do that right that's embarrassing Focus, focus, focus. Okay, go around. Uh, I'm switching. I'm switching between using in thir uh, third and second gear. Second gear. Uh, right now we're in third because I'm really close to the end here. And are you kidding me? Okay, no. Calm down. Don't. Don't break your mic. Why did I have to open my mouth there at the end? I finally thought I was going to get through to the end. The checkpoint was right there, and the stupid bump just caught me. Oh, all, right, all right, calm down. Okay. I... This is testing my patience. Uh, I shouldn't be getting mad, but I have a feeling this is going to be entertaining anyways. Uh, I might go back and listen to myself and be really embarrassed. I don't know. Uh, let's... We're going to give this a couple more shots here. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm leaning towards going to another challenge and just not using this footage. So... Uh, we're gonna see here. I need to focus. Okay, we're gonna downshift in a second here. I'm gonna apply some brakes. You're gonna swing through and get really close to the walls here. I might have touched slightly, slightly there. We're good. Okay. There we go. We got some. Uh, the next part of the course is fairly easy. There's a couple corners that kind of sneak up on you, and you need to be prepared for. I don't know how if anybody could really do a blind run and get through this on the first try because there's there's a couple really blind corners. And there's one section where it's on the side of a cliff, and it's a left-hander, and I about almost fly out. Anytime I've made it to it, I've almost flown off the course. So here we go. Get down in the first. The reason why I'm getting down in the first, I'm, it is creating some wheel spin in the back and taking the back end out a little bit. Uh, like I said, I'm not using the handbrake that much on this. It doesn't feel right. It, it tends to do like a really lazy spin every time I use it. Uh, I could be just got, I'm not counter steering right, but. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty good. I actually feel like we're making pretty good time here. I'm really using up. I'm trying not to drop too many tires. Don't. Don't. Oh, okay. Thank God. Okay, I'm trying not to drop too many tires off the track here. I am using the track uh, a little off it each time. You'll see me dip some tires. Uh, I'm trying not to dip more. Like, I'm not trying to... Like, that is a thing I'm doing, but I'm not trying to drop the whole thing off. If you drop the whole car off, it just slows it dramatically. Uh, we've got a good run going here, though. Try to focus. Here's a really tricky corner. This thing will sneak. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, that's going to hurt my time. Ooh. You know what? I'm not going to I'm not gonna reset here. We're gonna, let's just try to finish this run. I need to get one clean run in. Come on. Okay. The last part is really deceiving. It caught me off guard a little bit ago. Um, I made it to this checkpoint here and this looks like a wide open section there's a couple bumps here I need to be very careful about uh, you'll see them coming up here there's gonna be one right here there's a really vicious one here and then we've got one little bit of a bump here and we're gonna make it finally finally made it you don't just trash the car I really should probably be done with that but I'm not satisfied that left hander up there off the cliff where I had to Throw it in reverse to try to stop it. No, we're gonna give it. Let's try this one more time. One more. Okay, folks. Let's see. I completed it once. I want to do this again. I want to undercut my time. I don't want. I screwed up last uh, last time. I made it all the way. I screwed up. Uh, I almost flew off the cliff and I just downshifted. And I actually think I went in reverse. And I, I barely made it. But we need to have a good run this time. I want to cut seconds off of what I did last time. So we'll go through the bridge section, a little bit of break. We're going to shift down in the second. Try to get here in between the rails here. There we go. We're going to slide around. This is a really tricky track. Um, it's it's actually grown on me. This car is growing on me a lot too. It's fun. Um, it's like 
A lot of times when I drive race cars, I like good handling race cars, but this thing doesn't handle very good, but it's fun to throw around, so I'm really excited for it here. Let's come on. Okay, next section, I gotta be careful. Be careful, we're gonna go around the left, and this hard right hander has thrown me off a couple times. I've slid out and I've gone up that cliff, or I think there's a couple rocks over here to the left that I've hit. Uh, a little off there, we lost a little bit of time, but I still feel like this could be okay. Let's see, we'll swing right here. You gotta be careful here, too. I've slid off and hit those rocks on the left. Okay, here we go. Checkpoint four. All right, we're going. It's, it's fairly smooth. I did have one off back there, but I don't think I lost too much time. There we go. We're gonna take a left here. You gotta be real careful. I like to hug the corner on the left, but sometimes I've, I've skimmed that cliff. And we're gonna shoot here to the right. Feeling good. Uh, I gotta, sometimes I gotta focus, sometimes I let it second, set in second gear too long and it just revs the engine and I'm not getting enough speed. Let's see, cut here to the right. I might have dropped a little too long, uh, a little too much off to the right there, but I think we're okay. Okay, be careful here. Break, I need to carry some speed through here. Come on. Okay, that's good. That, I didn't come to a complete stop like I did last time. A little bit of handbrake might help there, but the way this car and the handbrake gets along, I'm not 100% sure if I want to use it there. Uh, maybe if I can get my G27 to work correctly, uh, I could probably counter-steer that a little easier instead of with a remote. But I think we've got a good run going here. Okay, I'm going to really focus. I'm going to watch these bumps. I think you can go wide open. you just got to hit the bumps right. You hit them wrong, you're going to shoot off the cliff here, as we saw earlier, and that was heartbreaking. But here we go. Here we go. We're going to have a clean running to undercut. Yes! Okay, <laughs> that is it. That is it, folks. I am... Oh, wow, that's... Well, that's a way to end it. That was spectacular. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to do some more BeamNG in the future. I've got some more scrap mechanic on the way. I've got some other things, some excitement, some announcement. I really appreciate all the support. I appreciate you letting me do this. Uh, I've had some support, uh, quite a bit of support from my last BeamNG video, so it makes me want to make more of these, make some more scrap mechanic. Everything's going good. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe next time we'll set up some crashes, more challenges. I'm not 100% sure. But hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Thank you.